The discount store in Ballybuffet is owned by Colm Gallen, who is a long-standing member of the staunchly Catholic Ancient Order of Hibernia. Today was a special day for Colm, and one which he had been preparing for for months. We do have band practices for the last, with our band, we'd be practicing for the last three months, getting the band ready for today, you know. We wear black trousers with a yellow stripe, a white shirt, decky bow, that's our uniform, and caps, green caps. Column says the ancient order, which only allows Catholics to join, offers companionship. The AOH, which is against violence in any form, is anti-divorce and anti-abortion. Only Catholics over 18 are allowed to join, and the ancient order has a declining membership. The ancient order of Hibernia use August the 15th as the day for their annual parade, as it's the Feast of the Assumption. 35 bands, most of them from Ulster, are taking part in this year's parade. One band which took part was from Desert Martin in South Derry, which had earlier marched peacefully through the mainly Protestant village. The Reverend William McRae said the Desert Martin parade was an example of Protestants not objecting to Catholic parades. If the, the people in Balaki would look at Desert Martin and see a totally loyalist and Protestant village, allowing an AOH parade to go past uh, without insult, without catcalling, without giving the fingers, without intimidation. In Ballybuffet, the president of the Ancient Order of Hibernia, Raymond McCormack, said AOH parades were not contentious. I think it's a very appropriate, very important issue that we should be marching, more so than ever. Why? Well, I think it would be a bad thing if the Ancient Order of Hibernians uh, decided to stay off the streets. 